Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we are covering DBT seeds. We have covered how to ingest reference data from flat files in Python. What if you're using data build tool or DBT? DBT provides us with a seed function to import CSV data. If you're using Excel, Parquet or JSON, then leverage Python or data load tool. They are versatile and can handle many formats. Anyways, back to dbt. By default, dbt looks for CSV files in the seeds directory. Using the seed command, we can load CSV files to our data warehouse. All we need to do is issue dbt seeds command. dbt makes this very easy. The CSV files are located in our dbt repository, therefore they are version controlled and code reviewable. Seeds are best suited for static data which changes infrequently. The best use case for seeds are reference data, mapping, or lookup values. Do not use seeds to load large data or sensitive data to your data warehouse. Let's see an example of seeds in our dbt project. If you want to follow along, then you can watch the dbt series to recreate this project, or simply pull it from the GitHub repo. If you look at the project YAML file, it has the seeds path defined. It is pointing to the seeds directory. This is where our CSV files should be located. We add a file to our seeds directory with a CSV file extension. For example, in this case, we'll add the country code CSV file here. This file has the ISO country codes. The ISO country codes are internationally recognized codes that are designated for every country and most of the dependent areas as a two letter combination or three letter combination. It is an acronym that stands for a country or a state. This file also includes the UN code. If you load a lot of files, then it is a good idea to save them in a separate schema. I will save the output in the staging schema where the rest of the staging model live for this project. In our database, we have the country region table this has the country and the two digit code. We'll join the country code table to this table to get the three digit ISO code and the UN code. Let's go ahead and run the dbt seeds command. One seed file has been identified. dbt has located this file and it created a new table called country underscore codes. It has read and inserted 244 records. Now we can refer to seeds in the downstream models we can reference this country code model in our script with the ref function. So let's go ahead and create a new unified country model which contains the ISO plus the UN codes. So we'll create a new file called stg underscore country. I will paste in the model script in this file. This is borrowed from the stg country region code and we have added the new seeds table to it. As you can see, we are using the ref function to reference the new country codes model. We are performing some light transformations here, renaming the columns, and finally joining this to our source model. In the final model, we are bringing in the three digit code and the UN code. Let's go ahead and persist the new stg country model. We invoke the dbt run command and pass it stg underscore country model. This command creates a new staging table. Let's go ahead and review the new model in the target schema. This model contains the original country region columns plus the additional ISO and the UN code columns. So this is the final unified table with the source model and the seeds model. And this is how we can ingest reference or mapping data in our data warehouse using the dbt seeds functionality. This is all on dbt for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.